Today we go over musical range classification of Taisho Kodos with a slight favor towards altos. First we'll discuss the models individually, then do some comparisons and draw some conclusions on the type names. The Kindenyu Yamazakura. This is an alto Taisho Kodo with dimensions 74 by 14 by 5 centimeters. Now when I give the height, which in this case was 5 centimeters, I'm talking about from the bottom of the base to the top of the base. We'll also have a dimension that goes up to the top of the headboard, in this case 9 centimeters. Now I pulled two different listings to show that you may see models with different lengths. The listing from 2016 shows 75 centimeters, whereas the current listing shows 74 centimeters. This isn't a huge difference, but the length over the years, even of the same model, can change. You'll notice in this video that some of the devices I discuss are old models and I don't even have the listings for them. Even though it's the same type of instrument with the same model name, you can get different string numbers, length, construction, etc. Just something to keep your eye on when purchasing. Next up is the Kindenyu Tenor model Yaikashi. I can't find the listing nor the appropriate naming. Sometimes you get artistic names with special pronunciations. It might be Hachijukashi, but it sounds a little confusing. I think if I was naming it, I would go with Yaikashi because it sounds better, so I'll be going with that. The dimensions on this one are 84 by 14 by 5 centimeters or 9 centimeter top board. Given I don't have the listing, I'm not sure on the materials used, but if we look at the current tenors offered by the company, we see three, and one of them looks very similar. That one is the Kaede. I covered the Kaede in a previous video, but it was a four-string version, which the current two-string model likely replaced. For the Kaede, I know the top board is oak, the core is Luon veneer, and the sides are made of Sheena. I'll go ahead and assume this model uses at least similar wood types. Now for a Kindenyu base model. I have a Matsukaze, which nowadays has been replaced. On the website now, you'll only see the Matsukaze 2 model, and going back to 2016, you would see both the first model and the second model in their catalog. You'll also note, however, that in the catalog, all the models have one string and it's on the side of the player. On mine, you'll notice there are two pegs, and both are on the side away from the player. This is an older model of Matsukaze, but I can promise you it is in fact the same type and a base. It's larger in general than the tenor models, and you'll notice the buttons get larger as they go to the left. The buttons will all be the same size for tenors, alto, and soprano from Kindenryu. For the base models, the buttons get larger and are more oval-shaped. You'll also notice there are less keys. The base has 24 instead of 27 keys, and the lowest key is different. The lowest button on the base is 2 sharp, so 2 is the open string. On the other models, the open string is 5. All of this changes the song demo I do in this video. I altered it for the bass to play on the different keys. The dimensions for this one are 102 by 16.5 by 6 cm bottom, 9 cm top. Now on to a Xenon Soprano with dimensions of 74 by 15 by 6.5 cm bottom, 9 cm top. Here we have a special model of a Zenon Soprano Taisho Kodo under the name Okayama Club Special. This is a special model made for players of a specific Taisho Kodo organization. You'll see this often as a lot of clubs or organizations partner up to get versions made for their players to all use the same model. It's easier to teach if the device specifics are similar, and easier to perform if the signal chain settings are all the same across your players. We then followed this up with an Alto Xenon model. This one has dimensions of 76 by 13.5 by 5 cm or 9 cm top board. Note that this one is generally the same style as the Soprano. We have the same general body structure, the wood looks similar, the construction looks about right, the key type is the same, etc. I also have a current listing from the Zenon website advertising the base version Taisho Kodo from what looks like the same line. And then we have two more for yet another comparison of Soprano versus Alto. To start, we have what I call the Fan Soprano. The real name is Yasukuni Oyashiro. It has a secondary name which seems to mark the Soprano model specifically. The Soprano name is Hyogi Cho. The dimensions on this one are 74 by 14.5 by 6.5 cm bottom, 9.5 cm top. I have no other special info on this one, but to me it seems like it was made by Kimura. The general style and feel seems like the Kimura Peak, aka Mine, that I showed in an earlier video. As seen with the Zenon Soprano, this is likely a special model made by Kimura for a specific club and probably one identified by the fan logo. Finally, we have the Alto version of the fan Taisho Kodo. Again, this is a Yasukuni Oyashiro model, but the Alto doesn't have a special name written on it, just a large Alto labeled across the top. 
The dimensions on this one are 74 by 14.5 by 6.5 centimeters bottom, 10 centimeters top. Now with the basics out of the way, let's do some specific comparisons. So the first thing to look at in length comparisons are the differences in the same companies. For Kinden New, we have 74, 84, and 102 from Alto, Tenor, and Bass. There's a clear length difference here. If we look at Sopranos within the company, some will be 70 centimeters and others will be 75. The difference from Soprano to Alto here is minimal, but going to Tenor or Bass, we see a bigger jump. For Xenon, we get a Soprano with height 6.5 centimeters for the main body versus the Alto 5 centimeters for the main body. Both have the same 9 centimeters to the top of the headboard, so the Soprano is taking some extra height in the body chamber. As for the other two dimensions, the Soprano is 74 by 15 and the Alto is 76 by 13.5. The length for an Alto would theoretically be longer for lower frequencies, but this difference is very small. This is the difference between 452 hertz for 76 centimeters and 465 hertz for the 74 centimeters. This kind of center frequency is not the difference between a soprano and an alto. The other dimensions actually give the soprano a larger overall volume, implying the desire for a larger resonator for higher frequencies. It also implies potentially a desire to kill the sounds faster in the alto or to not make them too loud in order to avoid resonance at some frequencies. There are plenty of other things to take into account, like the wood type, internal structure, etc., but I think they slapped larger strings on it, removed physical volume until it stopped sounding over-amplified, and called it a day. Then we have the difference between the fan Taisho Kodos, aka 74 by 14.5 by 6.5 cm base, 9.5 cm top board, that's for the Soprano, and then 74 by 14.5 by 6.5 cm base, 10 cm top board for the Alto, aka not really different aside for some extra height on the top board. So here they slapped some thicker strings on, said we're good, and called it a day. There's a couple points here. For the models at hand, the company is changing sound mainly and changing string size. Some Sopranos can handle all the string sizes, but some can't take that tension. An Alto may have beefier tuning pegs, but this is completely dependent on the model. Then past that, you can look at the dimensions of the Soprano, the Alto, whatever models, and see if the dimensions have changed. This will give you an idea if they've altered it a little for the sound as the string size changes. If they haven't, maybe they're trying to cut off certain frequencies, and if they have, maybe they're trying to amplify a certain aspect of it. You won't necessarily know how it sounds based on those dimensions, but it gives you an idea as to what they're going for. Now let's get into type naming. As we just showed, there can be difference in sizes between brands for a given type, but there can also be a large difference in the naming. For instance, with the Kinden Mew we looked at, we have Soprano, Alto, Tenor, and Bass. The general sizing constraints hold across the company. For other companies which have the same four types, the sizing holds. Then we look at Electric Suzuki Kohaku series, which labels Soprano, Type 2, Alto, and Bass. The Soprano is 74 cm, which is on par for other Sopranos. The Type 2 is also 74 cm. Then for the Alto, we have 96 cm, which is a far departure from the other Altos. This is more in between a Kindenu tenor and bass and the base model is 96 centimeters again. As you can see, the sizes are very different from other models and other companies. Some of the types have the same length and differ in other aspects. For the record, this is not a one-off thing. This is true of the Suzuki Iran series, and some of the Comnex models follow a similar schema, aka Soprano, Soprano 2, Alto, and Bass. I'm sure there are other lines out there that do the same. It's important to understand the different types within a lineup when deciding what to get, rather than equating all altos, all tenors, etc. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at demos of some of these instruments to get an idea what the changes between them are doing to the sound.
So some general thoughts. The overall volume of the Alto fan is larger than the Alto Xenon, though the Alto Xenon is slightly longer. On the one hand, to me, the Xenon Alto sounds a little less saturated acoustically, which comes from the physical volume being pulled back, and the electric pickup sounds very smooth and has a nice reverb. The fan Taisho Koto sounds more saturated and harsh acoustically in the lower tones, which comes through as a crisp staccato in the pickup. One may say Zenon seemingly did slightly more design work to get the volume right when going from soprano to alto, but the designers of the fan series may have gotten exactly what they were going for. It certainly isn't a bad sound it gets, and maybe they wanted that staccato specifically for altering the electric pickup. Go ahead and let me know what other thoughts you have on the devices, and if there are any more questions on type comparisons in the comments.